Okay, good day class. So after doing your financial plan, you're going to proceed with the rest plan. Okay, so again, rest, rest plan is very important in doing the business or in, in, in making the, your business proposal since um, everywhere in agiris, diba? Even mga events, nagina sa mga plans in order to solve the risk, mga possible nga risk na maaray sa operation. Okay? So, for today, this would be our learning outcome. So, uh, develop a risk plan strategy for your proposed business plan. Okay? So, let us define first what is risk. So, risk, this is a chance of something that would happen in which it will impact upon your objective. It could be a positive or negative outcome that would result to an opportunity or either loss of your business. A risk, these are the factors nga possible nga mahitabo. And it could cost your company's revenue or profit to be lower than the owner's hand forecast. The standard part of the thorough business plan is that the plan is designed for internal use by the management team or it will be presented outside of the investor. A risk, it could be also called a threat because it threatens the business success and in extreme circumstances and even its survival. Also, a risk, it could come in many forms. It is very important good nga kita on kung unsa tong mga classic classic nga risk so that you'll be able to properly assess and mahibuan po di mo og what kind of strategy or solution you're going to apply. So one of the way is you're going to create a list of your identified risk and then through creating the list it would help you organize your risk assessment. If you're going to conduct your assessment or your risk assessment based on the business internal environment, so you're going to consider your financial, your marketing, your operational, your strategic, and even your workforce. And if you're going to conduct your assessment internally or externally, I'm sorry, externally, then you're, co you're going to include risks such as changing the economy, um, mga market competitors, mga natural disasters. Okay, so muna siya yung kailangan ninyo kita on. And also, some of the threats are not easily to be noticed. Hindi na siya makita na. Iban mga threats ka, ka kabantay. So, you have to perform, na may i-perform nga mga identification process as a team to make sure nga wala game ma-overlook. So, you're going to have a risk identification and mitigation. So, a really good way of getting started with your risk plan is to revisit your SWOT analysis and make a list out of your weaknesses and threats. Okay, so you're going to consider all of this one. So, issues regarding the economic downturn, the technological breakdown, the human resource, the local business, the occupational health and safety, the supplier issues, the managing chemicals, the financial errors, the administrative errors. Okay, so in considering all of this one, you'll be able to come up kung unsa ang mga possible na, na risk, like economic risk. So, since the economy is constantly changing, so it would really cost a risk in your business. Some, maghatag na siyang positive changes in your business, in which maglead na nga mabuming ang inyong business, and also, it would also give negative aspects in your business, like mo reduce ang inyong sales, depending on the change of the economy. And also, one of the aspect po nga, one of the aspects put in economic risk is that um, you're going to watch the important changes, especially in trends. Diba kay, syempre, lahi-lahi ang trend. So, of course, if ang imuha is old na na imuhang trend nag apply sa imuhang business, of course, mabiaanjid ka. So, you have to to apply a solution, so, musabay ka sa trend, sa economy, so that gili ka mabiaan. Diba? Another risk is the Compliance risk. Okay, sa, sa local business na siya nga issue. So, business owners, 
should face ka ng mga laws bito and regulation na kailangan i-comply. Like for example, mga data processing, mga compliance, especially if dili ka makakuha business permit, ka kailangan pa ka og health certificate sa imuhang business. Diba? So, if wala na ni Mugitan ang oh, nga risk na siya sa inyuhang business, then there's a possibility nga mas tapang inyuhang business for a month. Okay, mga inana. And another also risk that we're going to consider here is the security and fraud risk. Risk, I'm sorry. So, more customer, especially if kato, di ba na ito'y business ninyo or na ito'y proposed business ninyo nga um, online online ang gikan mode of mode of delivery, mode ang online. So, naging possibility nga mahak ang inyong system. Like, kung naamoy page, maba ng inyong page. So, muna siya kita ano yung sa may, if ang inyong page maba na siya, unsa may mga mitigation ninyo nga himuon so that even if naba ng inyong page, still continue kaya po nung makasupport sa inyong mga customers, mga ing anak. And other, another also risk is the financial risk. So, since business, risk gagay na siya, so, of course, you have to consider good ang inyong financial risk. Like, for example, um, for a few months, gamay na ang inyong sales. So, unsa may kailangan yung strategy nga himuon so that mabuming na po magbalik, daghan na po mong sales nga mahita po. Okay? O, daghan na po sales nga inyong makuha. And then, reputation risk. So, this is very important. Di gigin siya kailangan in-neglect. Okay. The goal of your business is to satisfy customer. And yet, your customer is unhappy with your service. So, you have to to take a look at it. Nga nung unhappy man siya. Nga nung unhappy man siya sa akong service nga gihatag. Okay. And then, and then, and then, if ang kanang unhappy nga customer mo hatag na siya feedback online, mo hatag na siya negative feedback online, or even sa iyang mga friends, of course, it would cause a bad review to your business. And it will lead to the decrease of your customers. And mas lala pa, wala na good mo yung sales na ma-incur sa inyong business. And also, you have to consider the operational risk. So, here, very important ka ayo. So, it can happen internally or externally. Okay, wag magtakay ba kung unsa'y mahitabo? Negligence. Basin din, during sa operation, during sa production, nagpasagad lang ang inyong employee. And then, the I2 na ay something na nahalo sa inyong hangki. So, magina siya. So, dapat you have to remind your employee nga health and safety good ang kailangan. Dapat good, i-consider ang health and safety sa inyong spe uh, operation, especially if food, even ganit hili na siya food. To avoid um, risk, to avoid um, complaint from the other, from the customer. And then, if na-identified na na siya, then you're going to proceed to the next steps. So, you're going to prepare a risk plan management. Key. So, identify the risk. So, identify and document the risk associated with the business. So, you're going to undertake a review of your business to identify mga potential risk. Some Techniques in identifying risk is you're going to evaluate each functions of your business and you're going to identify anything that could have a negative impact of your business. And after evaluating, you're going to review your record. Okay, mga, such as ka mga safety incidents, mga complaints to the mga, mga previous issues. And then after reviewing, you're going to consider mga external risk na. Okay? And then, Next one is analyze the risk associated with the business. After analyzing, you're going to cat categorize them. And then after categorizing, you're going to establish report or procedures na on how are you going to, to prevent that, that risk. If that risk might happen, then how are you going to solve that one? Okay? And then 
you're going to identify training, mga education opportunities for you and your staff. And then you're going to monitor activities to identify potential risks and then minimize and remove risks in accordance with the agreed um, strategy. Okay, so again, very important kaayo ang risk management. So, to sum everything, uh, risk management is very important. Dili na siya kailangan neglect in your business because it will cost your business to close, di ba? Okay, if na mga negative feedback from the customers, then of course, you will not gain profit from it. Instead, you will lose profit from it. So, kailangan ginin yung identify ang risk. Um, you're going to plan if how are you going to solve that risk. And then, if possible, i-remove na ang risk sa inyo hang business. Okay? So, maolang to siya. And then, for laboratory activity 7, you're going to develop a risk plan strategy for your proposed business. So, this is the format again. Introduction, you're going to define the risk management in your business and define its importance. Define its importance, then the objective, then the methodology, and here is the result. So, present here the result of your activity. So, type of risk. Okay, so, unsa man na nga type of risk, like economic risk ba na siya, um, safety and health ba na siya nga risk, um, operational ba na siya nga risk, and then outcome. Outcome means... If kato siya nga threat nga inyong identify if dili to siya ninyo dayon masolusyonan, what could be the possible outcome for that one? Okay? And then, possible risk treatment or actions to mitigate the risk. So, unsa sama inyong solution to mitigate or to prevent the risk. And then, additional resources. So, unsa may mga resources nga inyong gigamit in order to solve the, the risk nga nahitabo. And then, target date, which... Kanus ama ng inyong target date. Like for example, since na may uban mga 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 risk nga unpredictable. Like for example, um, ang inyong hang oven is naguba. So ibutang ninyo dito for how long mana siya kailangan maayo so that makabalik na na siya sa operation. Mana siya target date. And persons responsible. So who are the persons responsible sa katunga risk? Okay, so maula na siya for your activity number 7. So, if you have any questions, so you can message me directly. And that would be all. Thank you and God bless.